Good day, this is Miss Dev. For today's video, I'm going to share to you the difference and similarity of these promising programs, the BSIT, the BSIS, and the DSCS. I choose this content because most of the students and parents are confused how to identify unique characteristics between these programs. And I hope that you would watch the video from start to end because this might help you in the near future in deciding which of these courses are you going to take in your college level. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. I know that you are here watching this video because you want to know some of these unique characteristics that best describe these programs. But before that, let me ask, what is your ideal job? Try to imagine what is this job that you really want to have after you graduate from that chosen program. Now that you have imagined your ideal job, how it would look like, let's proceed to the content of this video and let's see if ever what you have already imagined about your job would still be the same after you have finished watching this video. So the content of this video revolves around the program goals, number one, which envision the desired result of pursuing these programs. Number two, we have common grounds. Here in common grounds, we, you will learn the things that makes them similar in some events. Some events because in three, we will know the nature of study. Here, we would know how to label each program according to specialization. Let's learn some terms. I'm sharing these terms because in the succeeding presentation, you would meet them and then um, for less confusions, I've already told you what does it mean for each of these terms. Let's talk about program goals. These programs, BSES, BSIS, and BSIT graduates are expected to become globally competent, innovative, and socially and ethically responsible computing professionals engaged in lifelong learning and divorce. They are capable of contributing to the country's national development goals. So I just want to highlight these keywords, globally competent, innovative, and socially and ethically responsible computing professionals. So when we say globally competent, the graduates of these programs are in demand worldwide. So you must be competitive enough to compete with other graduates coming from other universities. Innovative, so when we say innovative, students must be creative, must have these huge imaginations to learn how to create a device a software and then communicate with the stakeholders or the clients how technology can aid problems in their organizations. Socially and ethically responsible computing professionals mean that it doesn't cause harm, it doesn't breach any privacy of an individual, that's being responsible computing professionals. Okay, the common grounds of these programs states that the graduates must have the ability to number one analyze complex problems and identify and define the computing requirements meaning the hardware and software needed to design an appropriate solution we have also that graduates must apply computing and other knowledge domains to address real world problems. And of course, we have design and develop computing solutions using a system level perspective. And lastly, utilize modern computing tools. Nature of study. Here we are going to identify the uniqueness 
of each program. First is we have the BSIT. It is defined as the study of the utilization of both hardware and software technologies that provides computing solutions to address the needs of an organization. The graduates are expected to address various user needs involving the selection, the development, application, integration, and management of computing technologies within an organization. What the graduate needs is to understand technologies that involves planning, installing, customizing, operating, managing and administering, and maintaining information technology infrastructure. Now let's go to BSIS. It is defined as the study of application and effects of information technology to organizations. The graduates of BSIS is expected to help an organization determine how information and technology-enabled business processes can be used as a strategic tool to achieve a competitive advantage. The graduates of BSIS need to have an understanding of organizational principles and practices so that they can serve as an effective bridge between the technical and management users, communities within an organization. Lastly, we have BSCS, which is defined as the study of computing concepts and theories, algorithmic foundations, and new developments in computing. The graduates of this program is expected to design and create algorithmically complex software and develop new and effective algorithms for solving computing problems. The graduate of BSCS needs to acquire skills and disciplines required for designing, writing, and modifying software components, modules, and applications that comprise software solutions. Now that you know the key factors that identify unique characteristics between those programs, BSIT, BSCS, and BSIS, I hope that the ideal job that you imagine from the start of this video, if ever it changed, it changed for the better, and it's still in focus of the programs. And by the way, this is me. I choose the BSIT program. And because I want to discover more about this program, I took up Master in Information Technology. I want to share to you a quote from Isaac Asimov. He states that I do not fear computers, I fear lack of them. What I imagine about this quote is that gone are the days that computers are a sign of luxury. Today, computer is a necessity. You can do all the services, some of the services I mean, using your computer. Since there's a vast demand for having a computer, meaning that there's also an equal demand of IT people. So I hope that this video helps you enough to choose to take these programs, the BSIT, the BSCS, and the BSIS, because there's really a job waiting for you after you graduate. So thank you very much for listening to this short video. And I want to give credits to my resources, the CMO of chat number 25 series 2015 and this presentation template that was created by slides go including icons by platicon and infographics and images by freepik so if ever you have any questions there's a contact information provided here there's an email address and my youtube and my facebook account Please subscribe also for videos upcoming. If you are subscribed, then you will get a notification for every video that I'm producing. Also, in Facebook, this video will be posted. So if you are active in Facebook, please visit my page, Miss Deb Official. And if you have any suggestions, comments, recommendations, please don't hesitate to write down in the comment section below.